Today, let's look at a simple improvising concept that will fundamentally change the way that you approach jamming on the harmonica. It's really easy to follow and using this will have profound effects on your playing. So we're talking about improvising here. So let's use the most common example, playing with a blues backing track. Because the blues has a set form, usually like a 12 bar blues, it's pretty easy to follow. And it is the best way to practice your improvising because you don't have to deal with these multiple sections that can make things more complicated than they need to be. So how do you approach it? Well, some players will track the chords. You know, they'll be like, ah, oh, there's the one chord. There's the four chord. There's the five chord. And you know, that can work. It can often sound a little bit formulaic, but it, you can follow along pretty well. Other players just feel like totally lost. They just don't know what to do when they're asked to create their own music on hand. Like it's very confusing if you haven't been walked through how to improvise and some players just freeze. And other players that are more developed fall into another camp where they try to stuff each bar as full as they can with techniques and riffs and licks and just flashy things to show off. Now, it's not saying that any of these ways is bad necessarily, but there is an easier approach and I think one that's going to give you better results. So here it is. You can play a very simple lick, which could even be two or three different notes and repeat it. And that is your hook. So everything else that you do in a jam is based on that foundation. That's really it. And as you repeat it over and over, you can't just play the same thing, right? It's gonna be very boring. So as you go, you modify it. For the rest of this lesson, I'm going to show you nine simple ways to modify and develop that hook. And if you figure this out, it will totally change how you approach improvising on the harmonica. Okay, we're gonna take a simple three note hook like this. That's it, very simple. You have one draw, two blow, and two draw. On a C harp being played in second position. Here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna put on a backing track and I'm going to play this very simple lick and repeat it. And as I repeat it, I am going to add one of these different things that you can try to modify that lick. And eventually, as these things build upon each other, you're gonna have a ton of options that you can control to make interesting phrases that you know sound different every time you go to jam. Okay, I'm going to start with the original lick that I showed you, here we go. So that's gonna be the foundation for everything we're doing after this. So the first way we're going to develop this hook is to change the timing. Just think about it in a different way. Check it out. It's a very simple way to make it sound more musical. Let's keep developing this. Now I'm going to take this lick and I'm going to reverse it. I'm gonna play it backwards. Let's flip it. It's already starting to sound a lot more fluid. The next thing you can do that's pretty simple is to hold a note and drag it out. And when you do, try to add hand effects and vibrato. And if you wanna learn how to do vibrato, you can watch a video, it will be linked down in the description. Here we go.
Okay, next, we are going to try playing some of these notes staccato, which means you are playing them short, like punchy, like this. That would be staccato, okay? So I'm gonna combine that with holding a note, reversing it, and changing the timing. So here's staccato. get the idea. So you can mix this in with your held notes to add extra contrast and tension. The next thing we can do is we can take some notes and we can repeat them a couple times. I'm going to add this to everything I've been doing so far. Check it out. It's already starting to sound a lot more alive. Now we can add chords to this simple idea. So on a C harmonica, we have G, which is the draw chord at the bottom. We have the C, which is the four chord, which is a blow all the way across. We have D minor, which is four and five draw. And you can add six draw if you want to. So I'm gonna take everything we've been doing so far and I'm gonna start adding chords to this as it follows the blues. Here we go. Now let's keep changing this. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove a note. We're gonna take one note out of that three note phrase. It could be the first note, could be the middle note, could be the last note. It just breaks open the way that you are approaching these notes. So now you can play them in both orders and you can take a note out. And you can add chords and staccato, health notes, everything we've done so far. All right, here, check it out. Now we are going to add a note, and this is where it starts getting really interesting. Now, if you don't know what notes you can add, you can play notes from the scale. If you don't know a scale, why don't you check out my free scale cheat sheet download? It's gonna be down in the description. It's gonna show you all the notes that you can play using all the main scales on harmonica. So I'm gonna keep that same idea. I'm gonna allow myself to remove notes, add chords, everything we've done so far, but now we are going to add some notes, and that's gonna also involve bends. Here we go. starting to sound a lot more interesting and you can really take this 
uh, step of the of the process here and really dig into it and add a ton of different notes and turn your original riff into something that has a lot more character. You can even make a call and response where the first riff is how we've been playing it. And then you have a very uh, similar, but more interesting maybe response phrase, okay? So you're taking the idea and you're developing it. And the last thing we can do is we can play this lick a lot faster and we can use it in these fast runs and we're adding this to everything that we've done so far, okay? So now we have a lot of different balls we're juggling in the air, but if you can do it, it's going to be really cool and really helpful for your jam session. So take a listen. I'm going to start playing some of these phrases a little bit faster and changing up the timing, adding staccatos, holding notes, adding notes, the whole shebang. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed that. I will have the list of these different things you can do down in the description. And why don't you check out this video next, which is my REDS method, which is going to add to the concept you just learned today. See you next time.